broken, I'd like to talk to you. I have a very simple, simple story. My story is started in a little small country, a little small island, got to a little bigger place called Canada, and now I'm here in the Philippines. And I love the Philippines. I don't know about you guys, but this is really a beautiful, beautiful place to be. Now, a little brush for this. Thank you very much. Just try to get things a little bit on the clean side so that I'm ready to start cooking. I'm doing two simple recipes today. Now, anyone that knows me understands that I'm into simplicity. You've seen complicated before, and most of you probably want to do complicated. But let's go back. I teach at George Brown College, and I teach basically an introductory course into fine dining. Now, fine dining is kind of not barbecue, it's like all of the principles apply. I have chicken. How many people like dark meat chicken? Anyone? That is, don't worry, it claps, because I can't see it. I took my glasses off. I don't know what I'm doing here. So, if you like dark meat, this is a recipe that you would like to do at home. White meat is great, and everybody loves chicken breast, but honestly, for the value, and I don't know about you guys here in the Philippines, but we have a little bit of an economical crisis at home. Things are a little tight for everybody. So it's time to start using cuts of meat that are tastier, number one, and number two, they are more forgiving. How many of us have made a mistake on the barbecue by burning one thing? All of you should be Every single one of you. Even I have burned something from occasion to day, time to time. But what I'd like to do is prepare this little grill. Now what I did was I asked one side to be turned on extremely high and the other side a little bit lower. In Canada we have a CFL. It's kind of like the NFL but better. Well, <laughs> but don't worry. One side, I cannot keep my hand here for longer than five seconds. That's hot. So we'll use that for searing. And the other side of the grill, we'll use to finish off the cooking process. And we want that to be as low as possible. Because when you're talking about the meat, and if you have a marinade, and any type of marinade with any type of sweetness in it, will start to burn on you. So I'm giving you the hows and the whys, and probably most of you already know what to do. But I'm here for a reason, not just to look pretty and to smile for you. Although I like smiling. You taking a picture? <laughs> Thank you very much. Every time I do these types of events, I'm always talking and I see these pictures with my mouth open wide. <laughs> Let me stage the picture. Now, can I get some of these ingredients for the first recipe? Right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some chicken. And this is just chicken thighs. And what you can do simply, people, is debone it. Take the bone out, and this is easy. You don't have to ask your butcher to do this for you. Chicken thighs, one bone, pull it out, and now you've got yourself almost. Now, it's not really attractive, people. It's not as good looking as I got. But look at this. How easy is that? We've got meat, we've got skin, and we've got two of the things that I love. We need to crisp up that skin. So I need to marinate this guy. And actually, I'm going to put a dry rub with this. That's my second recipe is actually going to be on the marinating side. So I'm going to put that there. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now, how many of you are heat freaks? How many people like spicy stuff? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. I need a clap. I need a clap with you. Because if you're not one of those people, then you know maybe this recipe is not for you. But you probably have people that will be coming to your house that you could give this to. This is not a mother-in-law recipe, okay guys? This is for people that you want coming to your house, okay? And you want them to continue to come back to your house. Now, I love my mother-in-law, so that's not for her. And if this is being taken, I love you. All right. Thank you very much. So, we have some chicken. And what I'll do is, I'll do this in stages. And I just will go through my ingredient list. Can I have that steak steel bowl, please? Thank you. And I'm going to use that cutting board steak. Now, I have a little bit of brown sugar. Now, we know that if you have sugar in any of your dry rubs, this, on a hot surface, it's going to burn. So we have some issues. Back off on the sugar because we don't want it overly sweet. We, we want it to complement all of the flavors together. So when I put in sugar, the next ingredient I go for is salt. So I want to counterbalance. So I have salt, I have sugar, and I go a little bit heavier on the salt. 
Now, I have some cinnamon. And again, with cinnamon, a little bit goes a long way. So you have to be very careful with this stuff. If you go crazy, you're just gonna have cinnamon chicken. If you like that, and that's your new recipe, just slide it to me when I leave. I'll put it in my new cookbook, okay? <laughs> but we have to test it first. And we don't test here. We make sure that everything is supposed to taste the way it's supposed to taste. Now, I have a little bit of peanut. How many people like peanuts? If you have a peanut allergy, just take this right out of the recipe. It's not that big of a deal. But the flavor that peanuts add is just wonderful. Not only for the Thais, not only for people who love this, for everyone. So again, a little bit of peanut in there. Got a little bit of clove. I've got some, and you said some people like it hot. I have some cayenne. Now, should I or should I not? Should I? Yes, I'm going to keep going. It doesn't matter. I also have some ground. And full. These are real old chilies, guys. Look at that. Ow. So that now is taking it up to, for me, inferno skin. But I have to counterbalance all these flavors. So I have just a few more ingredients. And don't you worry about everything at this point, all right? Let's get moving on this part. So what I do now is I have myself a dry rub. How easy was that? I have my chicken here, and I'm just going to mix these together, and then I'm just going to put this right over top. Now, you can pack this on 